Have you ever wondered what could drive a group of enslaved individuals to stand against the might of their oppressors? Let's journey back to early 18th century New York City, an era shadowed by the cruel institution of slavery. African men, women and children ripped from their homelands were subjected to inhumane conditions, their lives ruled by oppressive laws. They were forced to labor under the harshest of environments, their very existence reduced to mere commodities. Brutal punishments were meted out for the slightest transgressions, a constant reminder of their dehumanized status. But amid this despair, a spirit of resistance was quietly brewing. The enslaved Africans, despite their dire circumstances, were not merely passive victims. They lived in a constant state of fear, yes, but this fear was gradually being overshadowed by a growing yearning for freedom, a longing for a life of dignity and respect. These conditions bred a desperate desire for freedom, igniting the spark of rebellion. Imagine a night where the oppressed rise against their oppressors, a night of revolt. This is the story of April 6, 1712, when the air was thick with tension and the promise of rebellion. A group of approximately 23 enslaved Africans, their hearts heavy with the weight of their chains, decided to take a stand. They armed themselves with guns and other weapons, their only defense against the harsh world they were forced to exist in. In a bold move, they set fire to a building, a beacon in the darkness symbolizing their burning desire for freedom. White colonists, unsuspecting of the storm that was about to hit them, rushed to extinguish the flames, and that's when they struck their attack a clear message of defiance against the oppressive system of slavery. In the face of overwhelming odds, they chose to fight for their freedom. But what happens when the sun rises after a night of rebellion? As dawn broke on New York City, the aftermath of the 1712 slave revolt was stark and severe. The authorities retaliated with brutal force, resulting in the execution of many involved in the uprising. Others, too, were subjected to the harsh reality of deportation, sent far from the city they had dared to challenge. In the wake of the revolt, the city's slave laws were tightened, a desperate attempt to regain control and prevent future uprisings. The echoes of the rebellion were felt in every corner of society, stirring fear among the powerful and a bitter taste of injustice among the oppressed. But amid the grim repercussions, there shone a ray of hope. The courage of these rebels was undeniable. Their daring act set a precedent, a spark of rebellion that would ignite again in future revolts. Their acts of rebellion, though met with brutal consequences, marked a significant chapter in the long struggle against slavery.